Simi and today I have in my hands the newest Poco F4 GT. When they released Redmi K50 Gamer, I was really excited because that phone was really, really good. And then now I'm really happy to get the international version. If you were interested in this version, please don't forget the link it will be in the description. And this video right now is uh, online before the world premiere. So if you are interested in this model, don't forget to add in the shopping cart, but wait until they release the phone because the price will be different when the world premiere comes. And if you like my content, don't forget to leave a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Let's go! And this is our Poco F4 GT box. Look how gorgeous it is. I really like the box from any game phones because they are a little more, uh, right? Let's open and check what is inside. First, we have the pin to open the SIM card tray, menu and warrant cards, soft transparent silicone cover, a USB Type-C cable with L shape so you can enjoy your game without any trouble. They also included a 120 watts hypercharger. And now let's check our phone. On the right side, we have the power button with the fingerprint scanner and then we have the shoulder triggers. To activate you just need to slide this and you can see they react very well. I don't, I'm not sure if you can see the detail but uh, it's really soft. Poco F4 GT have a quad stereo sound. So here we have two speakers, noise reduction, microphone and infrared. Left side dual SIM card trail but we cannot use the SD card, then volume button and one microphone. The frame is made by metal. Then on the bottom, microphone, Type-C port and the other two speakers. And this is the back of our Poco F4 GT. It's really beautiful and you can find it is in black, silver or the gorgeous yellow. For cameras, we have a 64 megapixels main sensor from Sony IMX686, then now 8 megapixels ultra wide and 2 megapixels for macro. Let's try our fingerprint scanner, very fast, face scan, really fast. And now we have the gorgeous 6.67 AMOLED display with A plus certificate from DisplayMate, HDR10 plus, 120Hz for refresh rate and 480Hz for touching sampling. For brightness, you can count with 1300 nits peak. The bezels are very thin and for self camera, you can count with a 20 megapixels Sony sensor IMX596. Now let's talk about the specification Poco M4 GT comes with a MIUI 13, Android 12, Snapdragon 8 Gen 1, Duo 5G Wi-Fi 6E. You also count with 256GB for memory and 12GB for RAM, UFS 3.1 LPDDR5. And for battery, a 4700 mAh battery capacity. For image quality, we have a really, really good screen with a high contrast, high brightness and look the details. Play games or watch videos will be a very nice experience in this phone. Poco F4 GT have a very loud and clear sound. For performance, I run a test and we got 940,813 points. But one thing I need to mention here, I made the test with the silicone cover. As you can see, first we started in 33 degrees and we got 40.5 degrees. So yes, this phone cooling system is good. Even though I was using the silicone cover, you can see the temperature was not crazy high. Before I start to talk about game experience, I just want to let you guys know you can set up some actions for your shoulder tricks. For example, here you can double press and then you can set up one action or press and hold. You can also set up for the right side. So in this Poco F4 GT, you can have four shortcuts. Then to enter in the game turbo, you can just swap these buttons and you will enter in this page. In this page, you cannot do many customization, so let's just enter in the game. Inside the game, you can just swap to the left and then you have some information like GPU, CPU, frame rates per second, and then also do some customizations like record the screen, access the GND, and then also set up the shoulder triggers. You can just drag it whatever you want and then just save it to make the action. You see? But apparently you can only have one action for each button. Now let's talk about games. 
I'm not sure if I should be proud of this, but Diego is a really good player. So I will give my conclusions and you can watch his game playing. Poco F4 GT is really a powerful phone. There is no problem for you to play any games. You can even choose the highest configurations and it will be okay. The phone is really beautiful and the shoulder buttons are really useful. Diego said that he preferred this kind of mechanical buttons rather than those sensors. He said that the buttons have a really good response and it's comfortable to use. But he said that the problem is about the temperature. The phone will start to heat very fast. So he advised you guys if you want to use this phone to play games is better use one cooler. He said after a while with was one comfortable to hold the phone because it was too hot. He gave the phone to me and yes, it was really hot. He showed me his palm of the hand and it was hot because of the heat. But finally he said this is a phone to consider if you can solve the heat problem. Maybe just using a cooler because this phone is cheap and powerful. After around 15 to 20 minutes I use one thermal camera and as you can see the temperature reached around 42 degrees. And although Poco F4 GT is a game phone, it has a very good camera. First we have a Pro, then in video. In video you can record the maximum 4K 60 frames per second, then you have photo, portrait and more. In more you have night. 64 megapixels, short video, panorama, documents, vlog, slow motion, time lapse, move effects, long exposure, dual video, clone, and edit. I will take some photos and videos and I come back soon. Camera. And I know cameras are not a priority in game phones, but we have with us, right? <laughs> so let's point against the sun. Oh, let me go a little more. Oh, seems now I can see some clouds. Uh, I don't know how it, it is on the sky because I cannot see very clear. But uh, uh, it's just my impression why I, I became a lot. They're orange, right? Like a lump loom. <laughs> Let's move a little so we can test the stabilization. The stabilization seems good. Please leave in the comments what do you think. And uh, let's try the rear camera. But uh, I will try to move a little so we can see how it reacts to the movements. All right, let's change. First let's test the focus, one more time, again, yeah seems good. Now zoom, two, three, four, five, six, I think it's also okay. Returning, now let's move a little, point to the skies, to test the HDR, yeah, much better job than the self camera. Now let's move to see the stabilization. Yeah, stabilization seems really, really good, better than Redmi Note 11 series, right? Oh, I really like this one. A gamer phone with a decent camera. Good, good, good. Moving a little so we can check how it reacts. Yeah. What do you think about the Poco F4 GT? Please leave in the comment if you like, if you didn't like, if you would change something, maybe some feature or maybe in the design. 
any opinion you have, I want to know. And don't forget, if you like my content, leave a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.